So, today we're once again going to go through some Reddit posts by the Stoicism subreddit. And this time it is going to be something rather... Well, it is always specific, you know, it, it really is. And uh, But I think it is rather something that we all know and we maybe all have experienced, unfortunately and fortunately, because I think that one can always learn something from whatever we are going through. And I do hope that I remember telling you something also stoicism related that that really I think is gonna add and added something to my life to a really high degree. But yeah, how to deal with unrequited, unrequited love. I at first thought it's unrequested, but uh, I think it's more like unreturned, kind of. Anyway, I just realized a person whom I loved for 8 years doesn't have the same feelings for me. He was just casually flirting with me. He honestly doesn't care about me. How do I deal with this in a mature way? Well, I think in the way this person wrote it, in the way this, this whole thing is structured, which, you know, not obviously, but does reflect one's thinking, um, it sounds really bad, kinda, because um, if I first of all say I just realized, you know, First of all, this is not like really some some concrete thing, you know, it doesn't mean that this person said it, you know, it might just mean that it kind of got clearer, you know, but on one hand, yes, it might be really clear and clear enough. On the other hand, it might actually be the case that it is just an assumption that you're having that is not quite right. Anyway. And saying he just casually, or he was, I'm sorry, just casually flirting with me. He doesn't care about me. I know this, this really sounds hard and tough. Um, because, well, first of all, because it is. And second of all, it's like, you know, why is he flirting with her? If, you know, casually flirting. Well, you know what? Uh, do I do this? Yeah, well, I know it. Hmm. The more I think about it, the more... <laughs> the, the more I know this situation, actually quite clear, to be honest. Um, you know, just, I don't know, like, just actually indeed casually, I wouldn't say flirting, I think flirting is a bit too much, but just being a bit, um, yeah, flirty-ish, you know. I'd like to put it more like this. I don't just have the right vocabulary for that, but for me it is not flirting, because flirting is, I think, more serious but it isn't like um hey you know could you just uh, do this and that and these and those but you're just meaning it as a joke and both sides know that it is a joke but it is a bit like you know a bit flirty it's a bit sexual it is a bit like just going into the whole flirty area but it quite isn't anyway i know what the whole thing is about which can be very misleading and i know it i really know it because I misinterpreted things in my life as well, you know, some quote-unquote clear signs, but they weren't clear at all. But I do often, and I would also suggest to, to go the way of trying to make it clear, you know. Do you want to do something with me, or don't you want to do something with me, you know. Are you interested in with me, or in with me, in me, or aren't you? And then uh, you're gonna get the harsh truth, which either is indeed harsh or it isn't. Anyway, so how do I deal with this in a mature way? Let's see. If you knew you were to die tomorrow, what would you do with that information? My answer would be to accept what's pa what to accept what's past and move on to doing beautiful things and leave a pleasant mark of your life on this planet. Whatever is your answer, do that. Being in love is a great feeling and can make you move mountains. It is great that you've lived that for eight years. I don't think that they've been in a relationship, but it is more or less I thought this is the case. Anyway, now it is something of the past that is not of your choosing. You're probably sad with everything right now, uh, right to be so. You also get to be free of any ties. Maybe you can embark on projects that aren't really doable with uh, so, what can be the good in this situation? Well, um, 
it is not in your control. It is not something that you can control. You know, you can't make somebody love you that just doesn't love you or isn't at all interested in you. You know, of course, you can do as best as you can to kind of project yourself and show yourself in a way that is just optimal. But if this isn't just enough, you can't do it. It is what it is. Not everyone's gonna love you. Not everyone's gonna fall in love with you. Some people have it a bit easier, you know, because they are in their 1% of good looking people or whatnot, you know, this is what it is. Whether it is male or female, doesn't really matter. Some people just having it way, way, way better than some others. But we, or just, you know, the population, people, do not control that. It is your genetics, it is what it is. And one has to live with it. The thing is that it is quite, I guess, a 100% chance that you're gonna find someone on this planet that loves you and you love this person. You know, we are way, 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 way too many people. Of course, uh, you're probably gonna have to kind of uh, narrow it down to a certain group of people and they probably have to speak your language or at least English and they're gonna have to be in a certain age range and so on and so forth but it still is the case that it is a tremendous amount of people and the chance i think that is probably gonna be kind of 80 percent you know 80 20 it's kind of probably gonna be 80 percent maybe it's gonna be 60 percent but this is quite high as well you know anyway I second this. Unfortunately, you have found out this information, but actually it is not unfortunate at all as you have been presented with an opportunity to learn to experience that which you previously have not. It is important to see the benefits in um, adversities you face and to move on. That being said, you should not suppress that which you feel as it is something which definitely warrants an emotional response. I like this except excerpt um, i'm sorry from letters from a stoic by seneca i am grieving to hear that your friend lacus is dead but i would not have you sorrow more than is fitting that you should not mourn at all i shall hardly dare to insist and yet i know that it is the better way period but what man will ever be so blessed with that ideal steadfastness of soul unless he has already risen from above the reach of fortune even such a man will be stung by an e event like this but it will only but it will be only a sting we however may be forgiving for bursting into the ears if only our tears have not flowed to excess and if we have checked them by our own efforts let not the eyes be dry when we have lost a friend nor let them overflow we may weep but we must not wail more letters to Lucilius by Seneca, letter 63, on grief for lost friends. And here are some other nice quotes on dealing with adversity. The first one is by Marcus Aurelius, Meditations 4.49. How unfortunate I am that this has happened to me. Not at all, rather. How fortunate I am that although this has happened to me, I am still unhurt, neither broken by the present, nor dreading what is to come. The next by Johnson from the Adventurer number 111, 1753. He whose life has passed without a contest and who can boast neither success nor merit can survey himself only as a useless filler of existence. Be lucky that you are not dead, period. Epictetus in He Redion 8. Don't insist that what happens should happen as you wish, Wish that things happen as they actually happen, then your life will go well. Which, and I do want to once, once again kind of underline it, this just underlines that you can't do something about it and whatever happens, happens. And that is it. Can't do anything about it, so why would you be too angry about it? Of course, and I do think that combining this with the one from Seneca above, saying, okay, it is fine to, to grieve, it is fine to be sad, you know, and also your eyes shouldn't be dry when you lose a friend, but it shouldn't be an excess, you know. Just think about things, think through situations, grief, get, you know, loose of your emotions, get lost in your emotions, 
but come back and know where you are, know who you are and know what you do or should be doing or whatever. Do you not still love this person? How could you turn it off like a tap of water? To your question, you keep walking, sleeping, eating, breathing and being the best human being you possibly can without judging you for maybe sometimes not being that. I think you should revisit your line of thinking that led you to believe that the person had feelings for you. Try to figure out which impressions you let affect your rational thinking and why. This will help you to avoid a similar situation in the future. Well, it is probably gonna not prevent a situation like this in the future. It happened to me multiple times. I am, it's probably still gonna happen to me. But um, you're gonna be able to deal with it way, 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 way better. You know, still gonna hurt, still not gonna be nice, but you're gonna be able to deal with it quite nicely. Eight years, Jesus, you should have made the talk after a few months. Yeah, it is quite a time. I'm very much ignorant about my own emotions. It uh, took me nearly eight years to realize that I did indeed love him. Now, when I finally acknowledge it, this happened, I should have stayed ignorant. Also, in the tip of balancing your emotional and rational brain, I don't want this situation to happen again. I am very much ignorant about my own emotions. Ignorant meaning ignoring things. Quite. Not exactly, but quite. Um, ignoring your emotions. Well, I would actually say, from time to time, sitting down and I mean we see emotions we feel emotions and it might just be strange you know it might just be a strange feeling that you have and then thinking like um why do I have this feeling you know why do I feel this certain way sometimes you know just thinking about things I mean you can ignore it but you you just can't ignore it to 100% you know I think that it is not quite about emotions there uh, might be about trying to not hurt yourself by um, well indeed being ignorant of your emotions and seeing things and, and whatnot and just not trying to get into difficult situations but sometimes one has to just be honest with oneself you know about things about quite a ton of things um yeah I just read your comment and realized that you asked, how do I deal with this in a mature way? And I didn't respond to that question at all. Sorry, I suck. I really do. Okay, first one. Uh, take some time for yourself to readjust to being single and to mourn your loss. I had budgeted two weeks to six months for that, though when I lost my dad, doctors all told me, you can take up to a year to get back to normal and you've more or less lost a family member, so take your time. Um, for me, after my breakup, it took me well what is it it's, it's it's been actually more than a year now it's funny as it is but it yeah, probably took me actually quite some time you know probably half a year maybe more maybe less some 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 something around that i guess without just being too sure now but it's it's been some time it really is but it is going to be fine you know as it's always going to be even though at first you're gonna feel like, you know, everything is broken. No, it's gonna be fine. Build some new relationships if you can. Likely much of your social life was built on or around this man, so it's possible that you don't have much of a social support structure to fall back on at the moment. Yada, yada, yada. Yes, something to always keep in mind. Do not um, put all your eggs into one basket. I am a recovering alcoholic, so this may not help to but or reply to you but mind and moderate your drinking intoxication for a while um yeah uh chocolate ice cream accomplishes many of the same things as drugs and alcohol but it leaves your brain cells intact yes shouldn't be about drinking shouldn't be about intoxication shouldn't be about getting into different state of mind even though i'd also say overeating is also not great unless you are able to handle it you may feel compelled to try to whim him back. Don't. I'm sorry, I know this hurts. But that relationship is over. It is time to let it go. And if there is another chance, then he would probably text you or do something else to get your attention. And yeah, I think this is good enough. 